The U.S.-Mexico border has been the topic of much debate this election season, but should our national attention be more focused toward our neighbors to the north? The Canadian border, just 300 miles from us, presents its own challenges, the scope of which I got to see firsthand during an exclusive tour earlier this week. Now CBS2 looks into Border Patrol, the northern danger. So, U.S. here? Yep. Canada right here? <gasps> Absolutely. And all that separates the two countries for miles at a time is a split rail fence like you'd find in any backyard. Like that horse can go back and forth. But this four-legged border jumper says U.S. Customs and Border Protection is the least of our concerns. We see alien smuggling. We see narcotics smuggling. We see currency smuggling. Much of which agents say is heading directly for New York City and our suburbs to be sold on our streets. There's a significant amount of violence that, that is associated with these drugs. Especially the large quantities of high potency marijuana, often smuggled in the secret compartments of vehicles like you see here. But drugs, as dangerous as they are, are just part of the story. Our primary mission, of course, is to stop a terrorist. But every now and then, there's the concern that there's a terrorist coming through here. This is an easy point of entry. There are uh, radicalized groups that are in Canada. That is a tremendous concern to us. As is Canada's more open-door policy towards Syrian refugees, they say. Up here, we're encountering people from every single country in the world. They're coming across in snowmobiles. They're coming across on ATVs. Of course, we have 95 miles of water boundary, so people come across on boats canoes, anything you can think of. Our technology is pretty widespread throughout the border. But Border Patrol agents say they too use everything at their disposal to guard the front lines. And I've arrested people here, there. From foot patrols to ground sensors, even hidden cameras in the woods, all monitored at this command center in Swanton, Vermont. This is manned all day, all night. 24 hours, 7 days a week, 365. Yep. Agents say they win daily battles. In the last year, they seized more than 10,000 pounds of marijuana and millions of dollars in illegal currency coming into the U.S. Going out of the country, they intercept a wide variety of illegal guns. But to win the larger war, agents say, they need more troops. If you had a wish list, what would be on it? We could always use more resources. Huh? We've actually asked the double man. Well, there's only so many, so many uh, border patrol agents in the country allowed. Uh, we're competing with the southwest border. Right now, this sector only has about 300 agents covering about 300 miles, including a large Indian reservation that's an attractive route for smugglers. With so much ground to cover, the agents rely heavily on people who live along the border and alert them to any suspicious activity. And I mm -hmm. met one of those folks, and he tells me he sees drug smugglers coming through all the time. But if you remember anything from tonight, it's 300 miles, mm -hmm. 300, 300 agents. agents. The numbers don't add up. Agents say they just need more help. Wow, wow. But it goes to show you when you said that you spoke to one of the residents, you see something, you say something, right? That's right, and they do it all the time. Yeah. There's a good relationship there, but again, they say not enough. Of course, of course. That's really eye-opening, very eye-opening piece.